All right, so we're going to talk about sterilizing syringes. Uh, this happens to be a 5cc vaccination syringe, but we could also use it for medication syringes. And we'll assume I've started with a clean syringe. We never ever want to use any vaccine, uh, disinfectants or soaps uh, in any of these syringes that we clean because of the potential the residues would have an adverse effect on the product that we use. Now I'm going to, the other things I need for this is a microwave oven, some paper towels, and some sort of a, of a Ziploc plastic bag. Uh, I'm going to start by sucking some water up in this syringe. And I don't need to have it completely full. I just need to get a little bit of water inside. In fact, I, I just assume it not be completely full. Now I'm going to roll this syringe up and wrap it in a paper towel or paper towels. I want several layers. There's some metal in this paper towel and let me assure you that if you wrap this and get it really wet, there'll be no sparking associated with that metal. I'm going to slide this syringe wrapped in paper towels in that Ziploc bag. I'm going to put a little water in it. I want it, the towel to be wet. It doesn't have to be excessively wet. So I don't need to have like runoff in my bag. My bag just needs to be wet. I'm going to microwave and I'm going to leave the Ziploc bag. It's important to leave it open such that the steam can vent out. <clears throat> Close it. I'm going to set time for five minutes and hit start. Now is this <clears throat> There's no magic involved. This is just a way to heat sterilize that syringe with boiling water. While that's cooking, let me talk for just a second about how you would clean a metal syringe. You can't wrap enough paper towels around this to put it in a microwave to, to stop the sparking. But what I can do is microwave, uh, use a microwave to come up with some boiling water. And I don't need a great deal, just a, a couple of minutes to heat a glass of water. And I start with a sterile syringe. And, and I'm going to take this apart. It's been, I mean, a, a clean syringe. I take it apart and clean all the pieces. I need some sort of lubricant to make this work. And in my case, uh, some sort of cooking spray, such as Pam or uh, vegetable oil. Those are almost always uh, soybean oil, and they're sterile. So I can spray coat the end of that rubber device. Get my syringe back together. I've sprayed this. It's clean, not perfectly sterile. Slide that back together. Tighten up the rubber plunger. And then <clears throat> with a boiling water, I will suck suck boiling water back up into the barrel of that syringe and expel it numerous times. Three times is usually enough. So if you boil that, suck this up three times, then store it after you've got all the water out of the system, store it in a, in a, in a plastic, clean plastic bag and put it in a dust-free cupboard or an ice box that you're not using uh, if you do put it in cold storage, remember that it must warm up before you use it. One other option is, is you can buy automatic pistol grip syringes that have sterile components from the manufacturer. These are projects and, 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 and right out of the package this entire unit is sterile. I'll put this unit together slides in, put a needle, appropriate size needle, one, one, uh, one to an uh, inch for intramuscular, three quarter inch or, or uh, down to half inch for sub -Q. Slide this needle protector over the top which will keep the needle from breaking. And now it's ready to go. I can suck up my vaccine or medication and I have a pistol grip syringe that came literally from the manufacturer with this sterile unit ready to use. All right, so now that our, our microwave has finished its uh, cooking cycle, 
when I take this hot bag out, and it's really hot, we have steam or, or, or heat sterilized that syringe. After this is cooled, such that the water is dissipated, you can fold this up and put this in a dust-free environment until it's ready to use. When you get these out, double check them to make sure that all the parts are still working and that you get good draw through all the, the, the vacuum pieces. Uh, we did this for five minutes. Uh, many of these microwaves are large enough to boil the water, which is all we're attempting to do, for maybe even two minutes, so two or three. So just look over the equipment you've got and, and make it fit. Remember, we want a clean syringe and we're going to boil the water inside and out, store it in a dust-free environment.